Today we're going to talk about set operations. The first operation that we're going to talk about is the union. Um, the union of two sets is just everything that is in either one. It uh, doesn't have to be in both. Being in one is enough. Uh, a little more formally, so the union of A and B is everything that is in A or in B. Our notation for this is this cup shape. It's kind of like a U. This, though, it's not the letter U. It never has a tail. It's uh, just exactly like that. Uh, some examples. If we have the set ABC union 1, 2, 3, that is everything that is in either set ABC 1, 2, 3. If we have red, yellow, blue union red, orange, yellow, um, it is everything that's in either set. You could, if you wanted, write red down twice, but remember repetition is ignored in sets, so that really doesn't matter. And also, the order doesn't matter, so any order you care to put these in, I sort of arranged them in rainbow order. Our next operation is uh, the intersection of two sets. This is everything that's in both sets at the same time. Uh, sometimes people get themselves confused when they think of this using the word both and they mix up their unions and intersections. So you might want to think about the intersection as being where the sets overlap. Just like the intersection of two lines is the point where those lines overlap, the intersection of two sets is the set that is everything that's in both sets, where those sets overlap. So here it has to be in A and also in B. Our notation for this is like the union sign upside down, this little hump symbol. And when we read this, we read it as A intersect B. Some examples of intersections. So the intersection of red, yellow, blue, and uh, red, orange, yellow, this is just like the previous example, except we changed union to intersection. It's everything that overlaps, so you want the things that are in both sets, which are just the colors red and yellow. The intersection of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, intersect 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, that's 4, 5, 6. The intersection of ABC uh, and 1, 2, 3. Well, these two sets don't have anything in common, so their intersection is the empty set. When two sets have an empty intersection, when they don't have anything in common, we call them disjoint. Our next uh, set operation is the complement. The complement of a set is everything that's not in the set. In order to talk about a complement, your universal set needs to be clear. Um, remember, anytime we're working in any practical uh, situation, there is some universe that we're working within. We might be working within the real numbers. We might be working within the natural numbers. We might be working within the colors of the rainbow. Um, but whatever that universal set is, it needs to be clear, especially when you're talking about a complement, so that you can specify everything that's not in the set. The notation for this is a little tick mark. Uh, that's, uh, well, uh, you can read this as just a complement. Some examples of complements. So if our universe is uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, then if I have the set red, yellow, blue, and I want to take the complement, I end up with orange, green, purple. If I want the complement of the set that only contains purple, I get all of the other colors. Uh, a different universe if I have the single digit numbers and I want the complement of 2, 4, 6, 8 
all of the even single digit numbers, I end up with all of the odd single digit numbers. Notice that I'm not pulling in anything outside this universe and um, well, it's the universe that we're working within, the universe of discourse. So everything has to stay within the universe. Uh, the complement of 1, 2, 3 is everything that is not in 1, 2, 3, which would be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Our next set operation is the set difference. Uh, the set difference of two sets is everything that is in the first set and not in the second set. So the set difference of A and B is everything in A, but not in B. And our notation, we use like a slanted subtraction sign. So it's sort of reminiscent of an arithmetic difference, um, but it has a little slant to it. You might see textbooks that use a normal subtraction sign, uh, and you might see textbooks that use a slash that is as tall as the letters. This is the one that we're using for our course. Some examples of set difference. Uh, well, if I have the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I take away uh, 1, 2, 3, I'm left with 4 and 5. If I have A, B, C, D, E, F, and I take away B and D, I'm left with A, C, E, F. And if I have A, B, C, D, E, F, and I take away 1, 2, 3, notice these things weren't in there uh, to begin with, but um, we could still answer this question. We have A, B, C, D, E, F. Finally, we need to talk about order of operations for set operations. Uh, the first thing to note is parentheses are used the same way they're used in arithmetic order of operations. They're used as a grouping symbol to tell you what to do first. Then the next, uh, the strongest actual set operation is the complement. So you would perform any complements you see first. After that, the union, intersection, and set difference are all on the same level although you may see some references that make the set difference just a little bit weaker than the other two, but for our purposes, these will all three be on the same level. And uh, in order to make an expression not ambiguous, anytime you have a union and an intersection or a union and a set difference, you have to use parentheses. Uh, Otherwise, it's an ambiguous statement and could be interpreted in multiple ways. So now that introduction gives you enough so that you can work the practice with set operations problems. I will put up the solutions to those as well as a video working through those problems.